by the European Campaign for Human Rights in Afghanistan. Now I would like Dr. Nassini to come here and welcome you about this conference. Thank you. has grown out of the work of the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association, which was founded in 2003. We have since then continued to grow, thanks to the support, and especially thanks to the support to local authorities, MPs, funders, and most importantly, by the Afghanistani people. The work of our organization is to assist and support refugees regardless of their background, race, color, and gender. One of our main goals has been to maintain our own culture, language, and belief through our supplementary school, cultural celebrations, and training on issues such as citizenship, human rights, and democracy. We are pleased our services help our people to become fully integrated into the British system. And our children will be part of the next diverse generation here in the UK. Afghanistan and Central Asian Association has not been afraid or shy to discuss difficult issues but our main aim has been to help people of Afghanistan and Central Asia settle peacefully in Britain. After the success and growth of our core work, we decided to move forward and form the European Campaign for Human Rights in Afghanistan. This was our said launch at the New Year celebration on the 21st of March. We are now fully registered and ready to start on this challenging but necessary campaign. <coughs> this is our launch conference, and we sincerely hope that it becomes the first step towards opening up a greater dialogue with the wider world. The future success of the European campaign for human rights in Afghanistan rest with us all. Only by our participation, energy, and determination can we truly make a difference. And let me to start by sharing our aims. Our aims in the UK are to raise awareness about issues and violation of human rights in Afghanistan, to reduce poverty, poor health and the distress of victims of human rights abuse, raise public awareness of human rights in Afghanistan through use of publication, lectures, the media, public advocacy, and other creative communication methods, to offer training and run conferences on all aspects of human rights, to promote, carry out, and assist research into human rights and widely publish the result of our research. Advance issues of human rights through education, producing new material, and by commissioning research. Our aims in Afghanistan, to campaign for the provision of human rights and basic freedoms of all people in Afghanistan according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This includes the International Covenant on Civil Rights, 
economic, social, and cultural rights, and the United Nations Declaration on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. To support a reform of the Afghanistan Constitution and legislation in order to bring them into accordance with the international human rights covenants and conventions. To promote the rule of law and full respect for an independent judiciary by campaigning for fair trials. To campaign for the right to participate in public affairs without discrimination due to opinion, religion, beliefs, gender, race, or color. To support the freedom of opinion and expression, especially with regard to the media, artistic, and literary practice. To work with human rights organizations for the release of those detained or whose freedoms are restricted because of their beliefs, religion, race, gender, or color. To promote legal aid for victims of human rights violation. To support prisoners and detainees subjected to torture or cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment. To ensure that prison regulation and the treatment of prisoners are in conformity with the international standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners. To promote basic human rights for all people of Afghanistan, especially women and children, to be educated, to enjoy employment, be free of slavery, free of enforced marriage, and to be treated as an equal. As we start this conference here in London, we all have to reflect on how we can help our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan in terms of their human rights. Creating a human rights organization for Afghanistan is certainly one way of helping our people inside and outside Afghanistan. And there is no better time to do this than at this very crucial event. It is an important time for Afghanistan when we have the support from the international community and we hope that by establishing this campaign we can begin to help develop democracy for the people of Afghanistan. Our country has been at war for several decades. Now and yet, despite all the promises of democracy, new development programs and jobs for people of Afghanistan, our country remains in poverty with little development and employment. We continue to see the support of NATO in Afghanistan, and we do not want to see again the terrible times that happened before 2001. Below is a summary of some of the many current human rights issues in Afghanistan. Right to education for all, freedom of speech, judicial corruption, human child trafficking, modern day slavery, women, girls, forced marriage, exchanging, selling of women, persecution of women, freedom of media, gender rules, child abuse, child labor, and starvation and poverty in Afghanistan. I hope that the points which I have just mentioned will be fully addressed during this conference and in the days, months, and years ahead. Thank you very much for your attention.